right. The time has finally come. The band has made it. They you made guys it. are here. Congratulations. Hi, Minshara. Hello. Hello. Hey. Thank you. How y'all doing? <laughs> that was really exciting. Uh, I can't <laughs> Mm. Um, I, w- I would love for you guys to introduce yourselves down the line so everybody knows who they're talking to. Sure. Uh, Lucas, bass player. Extraordinary. Uh, Mike, play guitar. Aaron, I'm the singer, programmer, Evan. and guitar player. I'm Evan, not Aaron. I play drums. Programmer? <laughs> that's a new one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, that's a new it's position. A, we'll have a, to ask about that. It's, uh, it's, you know, like we use Ableton Live when we play live, so uh. we have to program it. I wasn't expecting that instrument, it's like but I like synthesizers, hey. but we run it through programmed. Nice. Yeah. Well, you guys were—we were just talking during the break that you had so, an interesting time getting here today because '76 was its unusual. Schuylkill. Unu- the Schuylkill, the sure kill, kill was way. unusually crowded today for this time of day, and yeah. you were saying that people were just like. Watching movies on their phones and stuff. And playing just stroking goats or something? <laughs> I don't think they goats. never said stroking. stroking. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, may have been, been, but I think goats having strokes. <laughs> yeah. well, I don't know. Oh, they're oh, man. You know the title of the movie. I but I'm, I'm just like, oh, well, it's goats in Philadelphia. I guess when <laughs> you're in traffic, <laughs> goats are priority. What <laughs> led you to stroking goats? Do you know this chat room is about to explode right now of uh, gifts? Of goats and something. Else. What about those goats? Goats that yell like people, like Miley Cyrus. They yell. They replace <laughs> Miley Cyrus courses with with uh, goats. With goats oh, yelling. I heard that. It, it's so perfect. I haven't seen. I that. think they do it with uh, what's her name too. Uh, the country Lord. singer girl, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. I Taylor Swift. I'm gonna have to Maybe look this up. Maybe it wasn't Miley Cyrus. It might have been Taylor Swift. Either so one. You made it. <laughs> there was some goats. Something. There was some crushed hoods on cars and a lot unusual. of facebooking behind the wheel. A lot of facebooking Not behind us, the wheel. Though. No. Not by you guys. No. We were the one making fun of everybody that was on Facebook Clearly. driving. Yeah, because you guys really knew what was going on, so you must have not been too preoccupied with your phones like everybody else. Right. Because you actually mm. saw what was happening. What was yeah. it? It was an accident, I'm taking Yeah, it, it right? was an accident. Of course, it was cleared by the time we got through, but uh, having that driven that road for five, six years, that took exponentially longer than we're used to. And you guys were very kind driving up from Harrisburg to visit us today, correct? Yeah, we all had to work, so you we did. left immediately from work. Actually, early. We, we I don't think we told anybody. Work. We came straight from Evan's work. We're straight from Evan's wow. work. We picked him up and I changed clothes out on the highway. You still smell like I coffee still smell and, like and coffee and Do you rats. work at a coffee place, I take it? Yeah, it's like a barista and we do like catering and stuff like that. Really? Could you never come again without coffee? Because that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I get to yeah. I totally could use someone. Tyler right now says yeah, Tyler, tell Michael. Yeah. He, tell <laughs> him hi, please. <laughs> please. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, what's up, Tyler? <laughs> Um, he said it, please. <laughs> so I want to talk a little He's bit. Very of, we, we were also talking about the name of your band, which is Minshara. Minshara. Which we've pronounced at least 10 different ways since the start of the show. It wasn't intentional, I swear. We just weren't 100%. Sure, the best way to pronounce it. Or at least and I didn't hear men shower. We did not see <laughs> oh, men shower. Didn't say men shower. But yeah. now that you put it out there, <laughs> it may actually slip. Yeah. You guys Hopefully. Are, you're so kind to, on your website, actually have a little pronunciation guide of how to say the name of the band and also define exactly what it is. And it says the classification for a planet capable of supporting humanoid life. Yes. So, did one of you just know this term magically? I, that would be me. I'm they a nerd. All I'm just not surprised. <laughs> He's a closet Trekkie. So how did this happen? How did we get that name then? Well, um... A closet Trekkie? Yeah. Or are you out in the open? I am out in the open. You open the... Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess kind of out. I mean, I, I watched a lot of Star Trek, and uh, the M-class planet actually stands for Minshara. It's an actual term, and my understanding is it actually has some basis in you know, Greek literature, but obviously people refer to it just in the Star Trek universe. Mm. But, you know, I'm also into Star Wars, so I don't want to offend any fans out there. So, yeah. so which one are you in a closet for? Star Wars or Star Trek? That's the question. Because either you're one or the other, and someone's always in a closet for mm. one. You know, I never saw an episode of Star Trek. If, if I had to choose between the two, it would definitely be Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. 
to be in the closet for. Yes, because it's like it's, it's like a no-no. Does that mean you watch the show with other guys? And I'm more in the closet about Star Trek. Well, I mean, really, I I didn't know. i just why why is it in? No, because the there's like some know. kind of weird sci-fi thing between the two. I, I had like no mutually. idea this existed. Like they make fun of each other. Oh uh, wait, you can't like both? Is that the thing? Yeah. Like if you like Star Wars, if you you're a true uh, fan, Trekkie? yeah, is that what there's you're a huge rivalry. There is. Yeah, there's just people who dress characters. Wasn't J.J. Abrams like Cowboys and Redskins, directing Cowboys and Eagles? I had no idea this existed. Yes. Yeah. I've never seen any Star Trek episodes ever. I know nothing about Star Trek. There's a movie other than pop culture references. There's a movie called Fanboys. And like yes, Seth Rogen funny. plays a Star Trek fan, and these guys are Star Wars fans, and they like go and like wreck up, like they wreck the, uh, they have a statue of Captain Kirk, and they like drag it onto the road and just start driving with this, like it's really? a, it's not a real statue, it's like a, a foam statue that they put out. Never. They actually That's built funny. a real one in his hometown in like I guess it's somewhere in. Kansas or Nebraska. So wait, are you the closeted Trekkie of the girl? <laughs> no, you really on? do really sound like no. that. He's a fan of he's a fan I, I, of fanboy. I'm a Star Wars fan, big time. So I went and saw fanboys, and I was like, yeah, down with the Trekkies. But <laughs> it's, it's kind of like then that my hat. then my band ends up getting named after a Trekkie term. It's a Vulcan term of all things, too. I have uh, no idea what that means. Vulcan's the Spock. Yeah. Oh, is yeah. that the, yeah. the V thing? And okay. the entire time, I thought this was an actual science term. So for a while, I was like, oh, this is pretty <laughs> cool. Yeah. Only come to find out months later, like three or four, that it was actually just science After fiction. After we had already decided on yeah. the band name, we're like, oh, this is good. No one will ever choose this word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I but interestingly wouldn't. enough, there actually is another band. There is. Minshara. There yeah. is yeah. another yeah. Minshara. Yeah. Shut no, up. in but, Italy. In well, Italy. Italy. You I thought it was in. Yeah. Yeah. Have you spoken to them? No, they were after us. I think they, they saw yeah, us they and then up, said we. Oh, they did. Yeah, I, I don't uh, know. They were probably the Star Wars. But it's like it's Latin music. <laughs> Jillian <laughs> says, "I love Minshara. Love you, roommate." Rasta says, "You kick butt." <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just reading you that's what the fans roommate. are saying. That's your roommate. <laughs> that's my roommate. Yeah, that's the and the, and, and Rasta's the dog. Dog. Oh, that's my baby. What kind of dog? She's a mix. She's a mutt, but she's. The, the coolest dog ever. She's um, a mixture of Husky, German Shepherd, and uh, Lab. So oh my God. she's adorable. So uh, our, our awesome intern, Michelle, uh, Michelle, who always does the bookings for the bands here, for the radio show, Mich- ma- Mich- yes, okay. yeah, made you guys some, another Michelle. We have two Michelles. Homemade bruschetta, mm-hmm. and she brought bread and strawberries. All I could smell is garlic. I love I'm like, garlic. I know. It's I like it really garlic. is a wonderful smell, but it's it is the, like it, garlic and onions. I love garlic them. Garlic and onions are they're But a it's the worst <laughs> worst pairing for anybody around you. I actually <laughs> want folks to get a chance to hear you. You brought a lot of music, so I would love to just play something right now so everybody at home could hear what you sound like and then we could talk a little bit more about the music and your style and all that fun stuff. Great. And that's when I ask you the dreaded question, what genre are you? Electro, so you electro pop rock is what I, that's our oh, that was too easy. Term. Yeah. Usually every band like, yeah, yeah. oh, Literally they cringe. The band band yeah. We had to, we had to, because yeah. we get this question every single time. Really? And and our, the people who listen to us, I always defer to them to define it, and they only refer to other bands that they can kind of categorize us, and they never give us a label. So it forced us to to come up with a label. To label ourselves. I like it. All right. So what would be a great song to play first to introduce everybody to, to so, your music? So for instance, like all our listeners saying who've never heard of you, what would you what, like? How would you portray them in one song right now? Our flagship song is definitely "Into the Night." That's okay. our. That's going to be our first single, which uh, a video should be out in the next in the coming weeks here. Okay, oh, so great. Into the Night would be a good place to start. Mm-hmm. Yes. So let's play that. Okay. And these, are these off of a current album, these uh, tracks? It's coming out this summer. It is. So this is like... So you're a- actually yeah, we're, the, we're first the first one yeah, to... The first you are the first one to be playing this officially. That you bag. really like us. I had no idea. That bag exclusive <laughs> premiere. This is an exclusive. I did know this. I was trying to wait to surprise you with that. So. Oh, <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, here it is. The exclusive premiere. I feel like so important right now. I don't you know, are. even know you what are. to do. <laughs> this song is Enjoy called it. Into the Night. We'll be back in just a minute. Don't you know that heaven is waiting? Time to catch those dreams we're chasing. Trying to keep my hands from shaking. We've all been holding on. Am I just another face on the show? 
What do you guys think? An exclusive for you, Gas House Radio, that mag exclusive. Who are you asking? What Everyone out there listening. <laughs> Everyone. 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 Alex. All right, so we, we, it, it. we would love to know what you guys think of it. You could head on over to our Twitter, at that music mag. Let us know. What, where can we find you guys on Twitter? At Minshara Music. Uh-huh. At Minshara Music. What about Facebook? Uh, f- min- Facebook.com Minshara. Uh, easy Minshara enough. Video. And your website is Minshara. Minsharamusic.com. Everything is branded Minshara or Minshara Music. Perfect. See, that's exactly how it should be. Good yep. job, boys. Let, let me, let me <laughs> I love when it's easy. When you guys picked a single and, and to do the video, like, what was your whole idea of, about the song? Like, hmm. is, was it your idea on the video, or did you, when you hired a director, did they come up with a whole new concept? Well, it's kind of a complicated situation. <laughs> we uh, we initially we we well, we met the director through our friend Shane. I actually am appearing on a song that's going to be released on Warner Brothers. Uh, his name is uh, Shane, and he's in this group, Shane and Matthew Thorson. Uh, they just played the TLA last week with Hobson. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And uh, the director that did our video also has done a, a bunch of his videos too. So I met him through there, and um, we, you know, we've just had a, a bunch of miscommunication on what exactly our uh, common goal was here to, to to do with this video. So, but we're finally getting it back on track and. Hopefully, but I mean the goal. Was we're seeing to progress, so we know that the we know that the final product is right around the corner, and that's what we're that's all we care about. The goal that's for good. the video is accomplishing your goals, and that's like the what the whole song is about is okay. like overcoming obstacles in life, and you know succeeding in the end. Yeah. So it's a positive song, but it has a darker tone. Um, it, it's a little it, it, it's aggressive. I mean, it's yeah, it kind of explains it in the song it feels the way you feel when you're struggling and you're going to give up and then you 
uh, succeed. And that's what we think, that's how we wrote the song and that's how it builds. And we think that's a pretty good one to put out there first. It no, kind of gets, it, it gets, it gets a, the range of the type of music we have. Uh, to specifically answer your question though, the first, we've actually done like two or three drafts of this music video. The first draft, you know, were more primarily our ideas and then it got resent back for editing and then now we've kind of put it back into the producer's hands. So. You had asked originally, was it our idea? Yeah, yeah, producer, of course, yeah. So. so the final product is going to be more in the hands of the person yep. who shot it. That's probably a good thing, though, because uh. I mean, if, as long as you agree on it, only because if you think about it, uh. if he's if you're portraying that in a song, what you're he saying, yeah, yeah. yeah. So actually, actually, what you're getting at is exactly the process this has been so far. So he's probably so he's not getting what you're putting down. No, he he is finally, but it took it took struggle and it took a little bit of uh, testing of everybody to get to the result. So it actually mimics the song itself. Yeah. Which maybe was supposed to happen for artistic purposes. Yeah, we'll say that. <laughs> Who knows, I'm right? I'm a big believer that, and I kind of, we actually had this conversation in the car on the way down here, is that, you know, everything happens for a reason. Yep. So uh, I'm a huge believer in that. So I honestly think that's exactly what's going on. Do you know how they say, like, you know, if you're planning a wedding, if you could get through the planning of the wedding, you will have a happy marriage. Like, people always say that. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way about things like music videos as a band. Like, if you could get through that process of making an album yeah, that's true. <laughs> or putting yeah. a video together, yeah. Yeah. you're going to be okay. Yeah. But no one has ever, I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. When you have multiple creative people working together, a lot of personalities. Yeah, yeah. things shit happens, and you don't always well. agree, and there's fights. And but if you could come back together in a way that is amiable, and you continue building, then it's okay. But mm -hmm. I mean, it's not easy being in a band. Just like I don't think it's either easy being a solo artist. It's not easy being in a band. Oh, well, being in a band is like being in, in any kind of relationship. It's still yeah, yeah, it's a relationship. You know, you gotta like it. It is a relationship. Uh, Jillian said the video is going to be great. No worries. Tyler said that he was in the shoot uh, for the music video. It was a great experience. He almost has a song memorized. And Jillian well, also said, you have right to down. because we played it about like 30 times at different <laughs> speeds when yeah. we just did one portion of it. How did you all end up together as a band? Hmm. What's the story? It well, all comes down to Philly. Yeah, was that, was it does. It does. Was that in 2011? Or What's that? Was that in 2011? Yeah. 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 Yep. Well, actually, it was late 2010. When we met. When we yeah. met. When it was we a met, dark, cold night. The, <laughs> late 2010. It was dark, <laughs> and it may have been cold, it just actually. It like that when you're like, it's 2010. Yeah. Yeah. So how's, Phil, how's Philly get... Uh, Philly is the key to this whole thing. It okay. is, it is. Me and Dan uh, were uh, basically starting from the ground up. We had a band before this called A Public Betrayal, and um, two members had left. So uh, we had just found a new drummer, and we were talking, we went to see Circus Survive. And Animals as Leader. And right? Dredge. Dredge. Oh, nice, and okay. Two yeah. of my favorite bands, Circus Survive and Dredge. And I ran into this guy, I used to jam with him back in 2005 when I was like in between bands and we were just, you know. Messing, messing around. around. Before he went to college he, and he went to Temple for four years, so five. we lost, five years. Yeah. So we lost touch. <laughs> And, you know, and then we so Aaron and I are like driving down to the show, talking about you know guitar players and who can we call up and who can we uh, you know try out, and then lo and behold, run into. Yeah, I saw him at the show. concert. We just I was just like, "Are you back home in Harrisburg?" He's like, "Yeah." He's like, well, "We should start jamming together." So then Mike joined the band in 2011. Uh, our drummer had left the band in, uh, last year, uh, and we met Evan through a bunch of uh, mutual friends. And yeah, that's pretty much how we got together. I mean, he 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 joined us at, in October. Yeah, yeah. I played the first show in November of last year. Yeah, so yeah. October of twenty. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. November of two. Yeah, two Novembers ago. Two Novembers ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So twenty twelve. Nice. So in two thousand eleven, was that your first EP that you released? Yes, Oceans. Yes, yes. Oceans, and yeah. that was in two thousand eleven. So that yeah. was just the three of you at that point. The three of right? us. Yes. Yeah. Yep. And but but the music that we think defines us as a band is the music that you just heard and you will hear, because yeah. we feel like that's the true representation. Though we're proud of the other EP. Well, I mean, you you grew. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like anything else. You just yeah. kind of grow in one, and now you Evan, have new members, and you. It's not an, it. yeah. It's not an excuse. It's just where yeah. we really feel we sat into like a groove that we're happy about exploring and growing even more from this. Yeah. It's always interesting, too. I mean, uh, you coming into the band, right? They have the CP yeah. out. You, it just adds a different element, right? It does. So I'm sure that you're, especially on drums, I mean, that's like sets the pace for every song. Absolutely. So you're yeah. 
music style inevitably would have to change slightly, right? He's a oh, it did. True. He's a much more aggressive drummer than our drummer before this. So yeah, my background's like all heavy music, metal yeah. music. This is actually my first like pop band. Really? So it, was like, wow. it took a little bit getting adjusted to, like trying to like hold back a little bit. And I, like, Stop playing like, your drums. Stop playing. <laughs> <laughs> Give him his hey, drum last... solo someday. Yeah. <laughs> so so what? Solo what's the writing process like for the four of you? What? Ha- how does? Th- how does a song come to life? It varies. Uh, a lot of the time, I'll start working on songs in either Ableton or Reason. Uh, sometimes Mike will have a riff, and I'll start writing a song based on that riff. Also using Ableton. Uh, sometimes Dan will have a riff and we'll just do it without any kind of electronic element at all. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's, I and mean, then we, once we all collaborate and pick it apart, we mm-hmm. destroy it and put it back together. Yeah, it's yeah. never the same as how it's introduced. Yeah. yeah. If you would hear some of these songs, how they originally were and how they ended up, it's, it's, it's interesting. black and white. It's completely yeah. different. There's not somebody with just the golden ticket of music right write, songwriting that comes in and says, here it is. Mm-hmm. That in song, fact, it's exactly the opposite. The song we just played, Into the Night, yeah. was completely different Hands when, down. We, when we went into the studio with Taylor Larson. And, uh, I was going to ask you, because we, if anybody doesn't know Taylor Larson's own for um, Darkest Hour, conditions we came as romans yeah he's yeah. doing the new from yeah. first to last record oh wow yeah, yeah. he's getting some big he's, stuff and he's working on a lot of pop stuff too so and he's, he's really breaking this, out right? yeah. Yeah. yeah we yeah. basically moved down there for like a month there you go yeah yeah and Stars it was really very for that how one. everything happened was very much like things just how ha- kind of fell into place when we were there how'd you find how did you run into him uh, I had a friend um, back home who was in a band, and uh, his band had recorded, but they did, uh, they were more aggressive. They did more of a, a metal-esque, like, hardcore style music, and I thought he did an excellent job with them, and, um, I, and I was confident that, and they were also confident that if we had talked to him and he liked what we're doing and wanted to work together, we wouldn't be leaving without something we were extremely proud of. And it wasn't about having him tell us what to do but I think we wanted to go to a place where we could um, in basically introduce a fifth band member someone that was an outside perspective but was uh, had a personality that wasn't afraid to say don't do this do this do that and it's not like we're not musicians who are able to evaluate that um, but we just wanted to seem more like a team um, so that's why and he, he's that type of person Mm-hmm. So it was really fun, actually, to get together and throw ideas in a room with an acoustic guitar and take a song that we'd been playing for a year and rewrite the chorus and walk out a day later just completely minds blown of how we collaborated and came up with the results that we did. That's yeah. got to be the fun part. Yeah, too, it is. Right? It is. Like that- that moment when you have like a creative light bulb, mm-hmm. like that, you know, you get a really good song. Mm-hmm. Is there? Do you ha- do you favorite a song ever? Are you listening Ooh. to this new batch of music, and is there just a song that is like, this is well, the one, like this is the one? For me personally, uh, I think that well, we went into the rec, we went, we started recording this record. We went in there to do three songs initially, kind of just to see how it would work out, uh, and we rewrote one song that we were calling Celebration into this new song called World on Fire. Mm-hmm. And the chorus that we wrote on that, we worked on it for almost an entire, like, two days. Wow. To make it just, like, the lyrics and the content in that, just the chorus. And I remember going to bed at five in the morning thinking, wow, we just wrote one of, like, the best choruses, I mean, I've ever heard. Yeah, that has to be like a rewarding. <laughs> I was so yeah, proud. Don't be too, so, don't no, be too humble. No, I was humble. so proud of be what humble. we accomplished in those two days. Can I play it? Yeah. C- can I? This is That's a perfect segue into me playing the next track. Yeah. All right, so this is another exclusive premiere. World on Fire from Inshara. Do you have a name for the album yet? I.O. Yeah, it's called I.O. I as in I-O. money or just I? Or the no, no, just o. like a, a two-letter word. I I-O. and O. All right, we'll talk about that. This is World on Fire. We'll be back in a minute.
All right, we're back. We were just... Oh, okay. <laughs> Everybody's pointing at me. Really, I'm still... Okay, I'm doing everything, I promise. She's pl- she is doing I'm everything. I'm running the music. I'm running the board. <laughs> I'm getting it together. <laughs> Leave me alone. Well, um, we do get some questions from the, from the room. Alyssa, she said, if you could choose any venue that you want to play, where would it be? What was that place in New York that we played? Web- Webster Hall. Webster Hall. Yeah. I can play that place again. We played the studio downstairs, but it would be awesome to fill the upstairs. Uh, oh, Webster yeah. Hall. I mean, that'd be huge. That used to be the, the club to go to back in the '90s, but it's really a more of a nostalgic place where anybody who's from out of town, when they want to go party, they all go to Webster Hall. So it's filled with all kinds of transients. You know, it's like, which is great for putting transients. out new music. Transients. <laughs> well, last week we played there, somebody got stabbed. What? And they, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody got yeah, stabbed. Somebody got to be on on TV. Sta- it was like national oh. news yeah, too. National news. Yeah. yeah. We we actually got on the t- on like national TV or not national because somebody got stabbed local, at Wester Hall upstairs CBS. it was part of CBGB Fest and yes. Pro Mags were playing and one of the old members came in and stabbed one of the current members and long story short is we had just finished our set downstairs oh. with a pretty pretty full show mm-hmm. and um we the show got shut down before the headliner, Please but but Please about out. a minute after we finished our last song, perfect, and and it was great. <laughs> it made our trip worth it, and we were able to sell a lot of merch in that minute. Believe it or I not, I bet you did. Yeah, like we were so surprised. People were lining up before I get out. I got I have to have your this and that and the other. We're like, all right, well, this is great. Let's come back. Yeah, yeah. You guys actually just this past weekend too were at Millennium Music Festival, yes. which we were talking about earlier, and you performed, correct? Yep. Yes. Where did you perform there? What? Ha- why is it that? Oh, they played it. Yeah, they played. We played in the Shire. Um, well, it, it was. I have to say, it was, it was an awkward room for them because I was there. I oh, you, there. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, happened in the room? It's just. It's a restaurant. There's no stage. There's no no stage. And they, I mean, they have two steps. I maybe one step. <laughs> And they got a this, curb. They, and, they're, and they're literally <laughs> smacking the corner, like catty corner. What restaurant was it? O'Hara's or something? O- O'Reilly's. 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 It was like a hotel bar. Oh. But it, and it was funny because you get to see, like, I'm like, oh, okay, I could see like a duo up there, but then a full band, and, and you have to go up these little steps, and you, yeah. you can fall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it just was awkward, but it was Couldn't a good Couldn't hear show. anything. But it from was, my perspective, it was a good show because oh, I get to awesome. see you before today. That was my whole idea is I wanted to see you guys before today. Wow. The shy you were ears. able to have open And if you could play yes. professionally in a shit-ass room like that, then my hat's off to you. All right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Because that was that, – I mean, The year before, room. the stage was enormous. <laughs> yeah, and last, this year, last it, year. It, it's not that it was downgraded, but it was downgraded. Well, it wasn't, it wasn't the uh, – the show's fault. Right, John Harris puts it on, and they were supposed to have the bands play in the convention center portion. Yes. Like, yes. Big yeah. open space, just like how it was in the previous years. Uh, but I guess literally like 45 days before Millennium actually took place, the location said, no, you can't have bands play in the convention center. You know, we can't have loud music. Other guests are going to complain. Oh. So then they were left yeah. without a, you know, main stage. Well, that brings another question to me. This is your personal opinion. So you still, you guys are from Harrisburg, so you didn't stay at that hotel. We didn't. No, no. No. So when you checked in, and I've been to many music festivals and conferences, okay, and this, I was so kind of, I understood it, but I was kind of put off. I have no idea where this is going. When you by check the way. into the hotel <laughs> and you're part of the music conference, they they gave you this letter, and it was like four paragraphs long about. How not to be an asshole. <laughs> oh. oh, can I get copies of that? <laughs> I have I'm one, yeah. A, yeah, I'm going to need that. <laughs> but I'm going to need that letter. Much, you know, <laughs> don't, don't pull the fire alarms. No loud music after hours. No this, no that. And it's just like, what are you uh, have, Mom? Yeah. yeah, I mean, 
Re- Millennium Music Conference definitely has its reputations with. Uh, I think that's the problem. Parties. It's the reputation of the venue of the of conference. The conference yeah. What music conference doesn't have that reputation? I don't but know. Honestly, one conference or one festival. Team for the past Dewey five Beach. years, compared Dewey to Beach. like to five years, five to six years ago, is when they were doing it at the Hilton. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure some real debauchery went down oh, there, yeah. and there was like an entire floor was just. I, I watched people like rate doing like. Uh, racing Cart on races. the luggage carts and like, running away into like, <laughs> oh, the vending yeah. machines. You know, everyone's smoking weed all over the room and, 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 dr- and throwing beer bottles everywhere. I mean, literally, it looked like something out of like Almost Famous. <laughs> You know, like where he walks into that. And oh, like the rock Hyatt, star life. Hyatt or whatever. It really was. Well, every band wants to be the rock star. Everybody on that floor yeah, was yeah. a musician. Let's do it like the movie. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> set so, the alarm off, right? And my, I actually wanted to set the alarm off right before so the So I understand <laughs> why they're like doing this now. It's like, yeah, but I guess, you know, originally. It all comes to back to bite you. But we still had a good show. We oh, yeah, had a we great had turnout. You did yeah, have a great yeah. turnout. For the, for, the, for the bands that played and the uh, crowd that was there, I was actually really happy with the people that paid attention and they were mm-hmm. really excited yeah definitely well, you have um another show coming up on march 8th at I, abbey bar Winterfest, right is yeah, that another was, festival i was gonna say since we're talking about music let's talk about their next yeah dates. well we have uh, we have a show coming up um saturday this saturday, yeah, saturday. This saturday. saturday. Let's, oh, yes saturday. let's talk about that one that's a big one yeah. saturday night go ahead that's our next show uh we, we've played dobbs a couple times in the past um, usually not with the bands that are anything like us, though. So I think, from what I understand, this is actually like a show, like a showcase, like geared towards our genres. Okay. I, guess. I mean, we've played there with bands that did fit with us, and then we played bands that like that were like goth industrial bands, and we're just like, oh, I, no one's gonna like us because we're <laughs> yeah, how do you this, follow that? and they are completely, completely different. No, I I, sometimes I think that works. Do you know what sometimes. time you're on? Sometimes. Night? Sometimes. Well, if I threw a show like that. Because being a magazine, it always worked. Like the one we did, oh, it did. Rock Cafe, we, different genres. Because that's what we wanted. It was more of a showcase, okay, right? as okay. opposed to just. Yeah, a but we show. don't actually have to get up on the stage after the other bands. Right. You know what I mean? Like we <laughs> yeah. just talk in between. Uh, what time are you on Saturday night? Do you know? Ten o'clock. Ten, 10 o'clock. PM. Saturday night at Dobbs. Then what's after that? Is that the next one? Is Winterfest? The next one is Winterfest. Yeah. Oh, and that's March eighth at Abbey Bar. Mm-hmm. Where is that? That's in Harrisburg. And that's actually with uh, Philly native Kid Felix. We brought them along. Oh, yeah. they're from Jersey. Let's not. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, my, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, we don't, yes. we don't cross the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> they do though. Yeah. That's probably they smart. Do. I know yeah. that they're, they're always claiming. Dobbs. Everybody's claiming Philly. Because no, every time Felix. we hung out with them, it was at Dobbs. Yeah. They're amazing. They're yeah. actually an amazing. Yeah, they're really band. good guys. From yeah. When we met them, so, yeah. they have a huge following. Yeah. They're yep. very, very loved and admired here in Philadelphia. But awesome. it's all these Jersey people are claiming Philly is their yeah. hometown. And it's just not the case. Uh, uh, it just drives me nuts. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. just can't. Drives us on the. All right, I want to. I, I want to ask him oh, one real question. Real cool question. Um, what are the Latin beats that you guys post about that are track girls on the rebound? <laughs> what are they? Yeah. What are the Latin beats? Uh, they're just. Pro- uh, that's you know part of the programming in Ableton. Oh, you it's did actually a, a new breakdown uh, that we so put into the song. Now, it's not official yet because we're not actually done writing the song. Like we've been playing that song here and there. But we haven't played it in over. Actually, we've never played it with Evan. So when you listen to it now, you, I mean, you can hear it. But I wasn't sure if it was, you know, you guys were yeah. doing it or if it was a program. You just said well, we yeah. we still wrote it. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it's it very <laughs> it's yeah. very referential to traditional yeah reggaeton pop. reggaeton, reggaeton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah the real reggaeton not reggae reggaeton no it's reggaeton different. yeah no. all right Jillian wants to know if there's any embarrassing moments at a show. Oh, no man. underwear down. That uh, you want to admit to. Uh, <laughs> she didn't add that part. I did. Huh. <laughs> oh, really? Mm. I don't know. I, I do know that it... I'm playing, never embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Ever. Uh, playing playing guitar, I'm not saying it, it's happened yet, but I, I foresee it happening pretty soon. Is I, I have... I don't know if it's my flat feet or my lack of balance. So far, it's been good balance, but I am waiting for the day where I just fall really hard. I catch myself at least one or two times every show where my foot almost comes from underneath me. It, I don't even have to be doing anything. I could just be standing there and take a step. But There was a cool time when we played Millennium last year, and I was wearing these awesome Ray-Ban sunglasses, and I banged my head, and they flew off and flew right into my hand, and I caught them. No I was way. like, and it's it was not like embarrassing. One, no, but I'm, okay. saying, I'm not saying it's embarrassing. I'm telling you that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I even just said that. I, like, I said this isn't embarrassing. But let me tell you, if I hadn't have caught those... Uh, sunglasses, I would have, you know. That would have been embarrassing. Yeah. 
But it but was awesome. It was awesome. And everyone that saw it was like, you just did that. That was great. I actually, I want to play one more song because we're, we're coming in at the end of the show. So I want to get as much music as we can out here. Uh, and then when we come back, we actually have to ask you guys our question of the night. And that Ooh, okay. was... The music question of the night. The music question of the night. Which I'll post it right now again in... And it was or what band or, what band or artist music could you absolutely live, not live without? So you get to think about it while we play your song, okay? okay? okay. okay so great. what's another a new the next song that I should play for everybody? Well, the I think void. we yeah the void, uh, the void is, that that it's one our is next single yeah. after into the night. Yeah, it is. You're getting all this these these sneak yeah. sneak previews. Listen, this is just it's truly amazing, and we are very appreciative. Thank you, and we'll make sure to talk about them up until the time of the release, right, which is this right. summer, right? Yes. Yes. What yes. date? Do you have a date yet, or is that no, no, undetermined? Yeah. Summer two thousand fourteen. <laughs> summer two that coming summer two thousand fourteen. Could be August. I O. Let's poster. just say July to split the difference. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So we're gonna play the void, and we'll be back and get their answer to our music question of the night. Moment. 
There's just there's been a couple of moments tonight where I've been st- it's up it's been stunned. It's like, <laughs> Everyone's pointing at you. I know. <laughs> Everybody's giving me a I, hard I, time. I swear I'm doing all of my jobs. So let's let's answer some of the people in our chat room. Answer some songs. Um, oh, okay. We got three people. Chili said he can't live without the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, uh, and Tyler, I disagreed. I said that Red Hot Chili Peppers is not his answer. <laughs> Tyler said it's Green Day, and then Bridget said David Bowie and the Incubus. Succubus. Ooh, succubus. Okay. And Incubus Succubus. Okay. All right, let's go down the line. So go, go ahead. Go. What is it? Michael Jackson. Oh, Ooh, great answer. Come on, man. Yeah. Great answer. Yeah, that's my and answer. that's yeah, actually funny Frank because we did a Michael Jackson <laughs> tribute show, and we yeah, actually added five of members of like all of our friends and other local bands that came. We had like th- uh, two female backup singers, uh, a whole horn section, and a, and a keyboardist. Awesome. It was great. And I did Michael Jackson. I had the thriller jacket. I learned how to do the movie. I was dressed up as an extra from (laughs) Beat It. Shut up! Video, yeah. and, we, and we started out the show with us. They had a screen that came down in the front of the stage, and it was actually the Thriller music video. Oh. And when the music starts in the, in the music video, the, the screen came up, and we played it. And we played it. What oh. was your favorite Michael Jackson song to play? Uh, oh Billie man, Billy Jean. Billy Jean was, was fun. Was probably the yeah, best that was fun. And, and this is coming from my this personal from favorite metal though. Is <laughs> wanna be starting <laughs> something? Yes, I liked I, wanna be starting something every, on guitar. We had, I had a, a whole bunch of drunk girls falling over <laughs> people on on Dude, the Brian stage. Everyone was singing. Yeah. It was it was one of the most fun times I've ever had on stage, mm-hmm. and it yeah, wasn't it even was our so material. Fun. Wow. <laughs> All right, so I digress. Go ahead. What's your answer? Uh, Pink Floyd. That's I would. Mine. I know it's typical, but yeah, no, it's real. It's it's really honestly that's like you know a lot of music, even like pop music, is dr- uh, derived from things, ideas they've done. Even the new tr- Justin Timberlake album, he uh, credits them for some of the ideas that he's used. Yeah, so, I, I'm a progressive person. I've always loved progressive music. So Pink Floyd got Pink me through Floyd, college. Pink Floyd. Pink Truthfully, Floyd or the Mars Volta. That's, that's between those two. And the, you mean sure the new Pink Floyd? No. <laughs> but I think it's say Pink Floyd because they're more legendary. So, you know, legendary they, are, they are definitely legendary, I'll yeah. tell you. Division Bell, but got, it literally got me through college. Go ahead. So if I want to be honest, I'm, I'm definitely going to say it started at the North Star Bar when I accidentally <coughs> saw Circus Survive play their first, uh, I think it was part of their first tour. Uh, for their first album, and so Circus Survive. If I had to go to uh, across the pond, I would pick Muse. Oh, I love uh, Muse. Somebody named Lee So he, Lee So he? So he said the same thing. Circus, Circus Survive. Survive. Oh, I love I love Circus Survive. And they love Downing Town Jackson represent. Show. Oh, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alyssa said it was the best show ever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you, sir? You know, I'm gonna I want to throw a curveball no. into this. Oh God. Uh, and say Peter Gabriel. Peter Absolutely. Gabriel. I love Peter Gabriel. That's, you know, that's a good I, I, that's, one. That's good though. Yeah. You know, he reinvented himself so many times throughout the <laughs> 70s, 80s, 90s, and surrounded himself with the best musicians. So it's like one of those things where it's true he did. If I could only listen to one, I could just say, well, if I really like. I'm a bass player, so Tony Levin's one of my favorite bass players, and he played on a huge catalog of his work, but at the same time, he surrounded himself with the best drummers and the best singers, and uh, Digging in the Dirt's like one of the best songs of all time. Just, I give up. <laughs> that, is, that is a great answer. That really that is, is a great no, answer. No, it is. Who did you say? You said? Uh, Jeff Gaines. Yes, and you said? Milton and Rob. Milton and Rob, right. <laughs> and I didn't answer because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I don't know how to answer it's that. It's a question. hard question. It's really a difficult question, and I don't know it necessarily. Actually, you know what? Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, I was somebody that well, I will. Uh, Stevie Wonder. There's my answer. Okay. I couldn't Ooh, live without "Songs of the Key of Life," the album in general. Yeah. So, I guess I'm gonna have to say that's that is my answer. answer. There you go. Love yeah, I mean that album is pretty much my favorite album of all time. I think I can safely say that. Like "Songs in the Key of Life" was very important to me. So um, to sum up a lot of stuff, because we're getting yes. into the witching hour, um, people who are listening who've never heard of you guys, where can everyone find you again? MinsharaMusic.com, Facebook.com slash Minshara, or at Minshara Music. And your next upcoming show is this Saturday? It's this Saturday at Dobbs at 10 p.m. we go on stage, and that's South Street and in Philly. Where, you have shows anything after Dobbs? And then yeah, we have Winterfest. Winterfest in Harrisburg. March 8th. March 8th. At the Abbey Bar. So this Saturday and oh, next Saturday. Yep. And for all you New Jersey kids, our next New Jersey show is at the St. April 11th in Asbury Park. That's a good room. Oh, very yeah. nice. That's Asbury Park. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys again for coming. It was a pleasure having you. Thanks for, Thanks for making the trip all the way from Thank Harrisburg. You. 
Thank you. Yeah. Um, for everyone listening, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you to Gas House. And don't forget to head on over to our website, which is thatmusicmag.com. You could check out all the latest articles, music reviews. And Brenda has put a lot of interesting and fun stuff we up also there got on the website. Stuff, so we, we never really pro- promote that, but we are a music magazine with some culture in it. So. We do have some culture. We have some culture. And we're pre- preparing right now for the next print issue, which is set to come out in April. In April, very shortly. Getting ready for festival season. Also, don't forget tomorrow night at Dobbs, we have the kickoff for the Liberty Music Festival. Mm-hmm. And the submissions are now, they open up tomorrow, as well as if you're not. If you were at the Hard Rock Rising, so there's a lot going on for tomorrow night. So, thanks everybody. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.